Have you ever looked up at the night sky and marveled at the stars and the mysteries of the universe? Well, what if I told you that a project aimed at providing high-speed internet to people all around the world could potentially impact what we see in the sky? Today, we'll be discussing a topic that has been generating a lot of buzz in the astronomy community, Starlink. However, we're not here to promote any conspiracy theories about Elon Musk or his company. Instead, we'll look at a very important question. Could Starlink change astronomy as we know it? So, sit back. Grab a cup of coffee and let's dive into this fascinating topic. Before I start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss a video from Boom Tech. Starlink, a game-changing satellite constellation. Let me tell you more about Starlink and its mission to provide high-speed, low-latency satellite internet to people all around the world. SpaceX came up with the idea for Starlink. Elon Musk, who is well known for his innovative ideas, founded SpaceX, a private company for space exploration. The goal of Starlink is to give people who can't or don't get internet access from traditional providers access to the internet. And they're doing this by launching a group of satellites into low Earth orbit. We don't talk that much about Starlink, but essentially it's intended to provide low latency, high bandwidth internet connectivity throughout the world. Um, that, that actually will not be enough cognitive processing power on board the satellite system to, to uh, in any way be a sky network. The first batch of Starlink satellites was launched in 2019, and since then, the fleet has grown to more than 3,580 tiny, mass-produced satellites. These satellites are designed and built at the SpaceX Satellite Development Facility in Redmond, Washington, where a team of talented engineers and scientists are working around the clock to make Starlink a reality. The technology behind Starlink is truly groundbreaking. By connecting with certain ground transceivers, the satellites can provide internet access to people all around the world, even in remote or rural areas. And the best part, the internet speeds are lightning fast with low latency, which means you won't experience any frustrating delays or buffering while streaming or gaming. Currently available in over 50 countries, Starlink has big plans for the future. After 2023, they also want to offer international cell phone service in addition to internet access. This means that even in areas where traditional phone service is unreliable or non-existent, Starlink will be able to provide a stable and reliable connection. Starlink's vision for the future is even more exciting. They want to set up a total of about 12,000 satellites, but that number could grow to 42,000 in the future. With this many satellites in orbit, Accessing the internet will become effortless, no matter where you are on the planet. Overall, Starlink is an exciting and innovative project that has the potential to revolutionize the way we connect with each other and the world around us. And with a visionary like Elon Musk at the helm, the sky's the limit. Investing in the future The Starlink project is one of the most ambitious in our current world. In May 2018, SpaceX said that the project to plant build, and launch the Constellation would take 10 years and cost at least $10 billion. However, they expected their investment to pay off. SpaceX thought that its rocket business would bring in $5 billion in sales in the same year, but it thinks that its satellite network will bring in more than $30 billion by 2025. So, as you can see, it has the potential to transform the way we access the internet. It could provide high-speed internet access to areas of the world that currently lack it, which could have a major impact on economic development, healthcare, and education. However, there are also concerns about the impact of satellites on the environment, wildlife, and astronomy. Now here's where things get a little tricky. While Starlink may be great news for people who have struggled to access the internet, it's not such great news for astronomers. The constellation is made up of thousands of small satellites that reflect sunlight and make streaks that can be seen in pictures of space taken by telescopes. This can make it difficult or even impossible for astronomers to study faint objects in the night sky, like distant galaxies or exoplanets. In short, Starlink is a bit like a bright neon sign that's blocking out the stars. The main point of disagreement about Starlink and how it might affect astronomy is how it might affect two important fields, space exploration and scientific research. The company behind Starlink, SpaceX, has listened to astronomers' concerns and has already taken some steps to lessen the effect of the satellites on the night sky. For example, they have made the satellites less reflective, which should help reduce the brightness of the streaks they leave in astronomical images. They are also making technology that could make Starlink even less of a problem for astronomy. However, some astronomers remain concerned that these measures may not be enough. 
The sheer number of satellites being launched as part of the Starlink constellation means that even a small percentage of them could have a significant impact on the night sky. Astronomers need clear, dark skies to study the stars, and anything that gets in the way of this could hurt their ability to do research. Both sides have valid concerns, and finding a solution that works for everyone will be challenging. It's clear that space exploration and scientific research are both important, and it's important to strike a balance between them. As technology keeps getting better, new ideas may come up that can help astronomy deal with the effects of Starlink. Until then, this debate is likely to keep experts and regular people talking about it in a heated way. Potential Solutions Now, let's talk about possible solutions to the problem of satellite constellations. Interfering with astronomical research is still in the early stages of development but it shows promise. One idea that has already gained acceptance is the use of dark satellites. These satellites are designed to emit little or no light. That means they will not cause astronomers the same problems as reflective satellites like those in the Starlink constellation. Another possible solution is to develop new technology that can filter out the streaks in astronomical images caused by satellites that reflect light. This could mean using complex algorithms or software to get rid of streaks and other artifacts caused by satellite interference in telescope images. Of course, it's important to note that both of these potential solutions have their own challenges and limitations. For example, designing and building dark satellites could be more difficult and expensive than traditional reflective satellites. Also, removing satellite streaks from astronomical images could be a difficult and time-consuming task. Even with these problems, it's important to keep looking for ways to make satellite constellations less disruptive to astronomical research. The astronomy and technology fields will need to work together to develop solutions that benefit both parties. The government also has a role to play in how space is used and in making sure that astronomers can still see the night sky. It's also worth noting that while satellite constellations like Starlink have raised concerns among astronomers, they do have the potential to bring about significant benefits for people around the world, especially those who live in remote or rural areas with limited internet access. It's all about finding a balance and working together to ensure that both technology and astronomy can thrive and bring about exciting discoveries for generations to come. The Future of Astronomy now that we've explored the ins and outs of Starlink, it's time to consider its impact on the future of astronomy. As we've talked about, the growing number of satellite constellations like Starlink has raised concerns about light pollution and radio frequency interference, both of which can have a big effect on astronomical research. But does this mean the end of astronomy, as we know it? Not necessarily. To move forward, we must find a way to balance the benefits of new technology with the need to protect and preserve the night sky above us. We must work together to make sure that satellite constellations don't get in the way of astronomical research. This can be done if the astronomy and technology fields work together and if the government makes rules and teaches the public. As we continue to learn more about the universe and explore it, it's important to remember the night sky and the role it plays in making us curious and full of wonder. Perhaps, with the right approach, we can find a way to make Starlink and other satellite constellations work hand-in-hand hand with astronomy. Who knows what exciting discovery and advancements await us in the future. So, let's get back to the first question, is Starlink the end of astronomy? It's a complex question with no easy answer, but what's clear is that we need to continue the conversation and work together to find solutions that benefit both the internet-hungry masses and starry-eyed astronomers. What do you think? Is it a revolution or a catastrophe? Please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, stay curious.